Hey guys and gals, Shadow Dragon here. Welcome to the newest Let's Play on the channel, Shadows Over Loathing. This game was made by the same developers that made West of Loathing, a game that I played. I never played it on a stream or in a video or anything. I kind of played it on my own free time and just fell in love with the style of the game. It is very simple, but they use that simplicity to make just amazing amazing jokes at least they did in west of loathing and i have a lot of hope for shadows over loathing so let's just jump right into it in a new game uh you won't be able to see my mouse or anything wasd moving company it's how you how you is, is this me <laughs> can i get my car please can i <laughs> you can't does that kill you am i just i got a game <laughs> I died in the sensor. <laughs> 10 out of 10. Best game. Alright, let's... Okay, W... Oh, do I have to go this way now? Okay, do I have to go to the diner? What the... Smell... Oh, it smells like a diner and smells like they're open. Oh, they don't have a... No shirt, no shoes, magazine stuck to your face, no service sign posted. Go inside the diner. Why? Why is there still a magazine on my face? Earn Merv, mer, I'm not talking to you until you wipe that look off your face. Mer, mer. The copy of a look magazine is stuck to your face. Bathroom's in the back. She points over to the right as far as you know. Thanks! So I guess, oh, you can feel, you can feel a little sign here, but can't see what it says. Probably instructions for what to do in case of a mer, magazine related emergencies. You shouldn't bother anybody until you get the, oh, I can't get it. There's some kind of big glass and metal box here, but you can't actually see what it is. It's the bathroom, probably. You blunder your way into the bathroom and eventually find the sink. After fumbling with the faucet for a while, you manage to disentangle yourself... Oh, disentangle yourself from the magazine. You stare at the mirror, revealing... My face. Oh, you can choose your face. That's actually kind of cool. I think I'm just going to go with... I kind of want to go with just the basic one, because I think that was, like, the best thing. There you are. Leave the bathroom. Perfect. Hello, guys. A couple of older folks are having an animated discussion. Well, one of them is. Hmm. These, the way these young women act these days with their short hair and their sassy talk and their dresses that don't cover their, their ankles? It's scandalous. And those dances they do, flailing around like I don't know what. I'd have thought Prohibitin would have put the kibosh on that sort of tomfoolery. But no, sir. Can't imagine dancing a waltz to the music they're playing nowadays, though. And that's the problem right there. This newfangled jazz music with all the drums and, and clarinets and such. What kind of word is that anyway? Jazz. I think our cups got switched. You're supposed to be drinking decaf. <laughs> Guy's pissed. A couple of young women chat chatting breezily over coffee. Hey, Mac, what town is this? Oh, is this me? Poughkeepsies. Are you two traveling? Yeah, Ocean City's turning into a real sawmill, so we boosted her jelly beans breezer for a weekend whirl to the hot potato. Oh, Bushwa, you make it sound like we went south with it. I flew him a kite. Everything's Jake. Jeez, I'm pretty sure I'm only three or four years older than you two, and I barely understand what you're saying. What are you, a canceled stamp? Go put some pepper in your shoes. I I'll try that. All right, well, I think I've had an aneurysm. The sign says meat only, no credit. Now, nah, that looks much better. I'm Ethel. I'm Mark, I'm Martin, I'm Ron Foso. Enter a different first name. Shadow. Shadow who? Shadow Wilson, Shadow Jenkins, Shadow Tarts. Durgan. Shadow Durgan at your service. Or Shadow Dragon, I guess. Pleased to meet you, Shadow Dragon. What can I get you? Uh, does the Bust Ocean City pick up here? Sure does. Should be here any minute. Good thing, too. I hear we're in for rain tonight. What takes you to Ocean City? My uncle lives there. I got a letter from him. He wants me to help him with something. That's a reason, hun, but it's somebody else's reason. What's your reason? Ethel likes, locks eyes with you. I, uh... Just mind your own business, Ethel. <laughs> I'm searching for something. I see. Do you know what it is you're looking for? No. That's the problem. You got a perk. Lost soul. You don't know what you're looking for, and you're not sure how you'll know it when you find it. Oh, so do you get different... Per wow, I wish I... Okay. Well, we'll stick with that. Lost soul. That has to be something later on. 
I hope we get that soon. Oh, hey, man. This man is concentrating very hard on his coffee. Hey, there's something particularly interesting about that coffee. It's my first one of the day. No, it's my first coffee ever. Oh, what do you think? I think it's a bad beverage. It's bitter and it makes my stomach hurt. Ah, oh, well, it's not for everybody, I suppose. Yeah, I think I'll have another one after this, though. And then maybe every morning for the rest of my life. Well, enjoy. Yeah, I don't like coffee either. Ethel said the bus will be here any minute. Wait, we never went to the, the jukebox. Try coffee. You'll like it eventually. Ooh, they got one of those new meat-operated multi-selection phonographs. Or jukeboxes, as the kids call them. Neat. Hey, there's something in the corner turn. You gain one meat. Nice. <gasps> Can I get a cup of coffee? Best cup of coffee in the state, if I may so, that'll be one meat. Great to go, please. We got diner coffee. Smells better than any coffee you've ever had on this trip. Nope, thanks! Alright, let's go outside and wait with my cup of coffee. <gasps> the prologue! <laughs> this game is amazing so far. It's just, just the way with the amount of laughs. I've, I already know I'm gonna have, like, such great laughs. I didn't have to spend any meat on this, did I? I'm sorry. You pull out the letter you got from Uncle Murray and read it, read it again. Murray Morris, C.O. Murray's Antiques, 111 Plunkett Street, Ocean City. Dear Shadow, I hope this letter finds you well, and I hope it finds you quickly. Something quite serious has happened, and I need the help of your adventurous spirit. Come to my shop in Ocean City as soon as you're able, please. Your uncle, Murray. Is that a fucking clown? Alright, well now there's another... How fucking long is this bus ride? And what happened to that one girl that was sitting in front? You're about to go mad from the monotony of this ride when a bus suddenly judders to a stop. You look out the window expecting to see the sights of Ocean City, but instead you see an endless expanse of extremely wet trees. Uh-oh. What's going on? It's the bus driver. This is like I would say, nope, sorry about this, but we're out of gas. Oh, did you didn't fill up before we left? I filled up the bus, but the this trip takes exactly one full tank of gas. <laughs> and it's an empty gas can. Plus one additional can. Swell. Why do I have to go get it? Well, I'd go myself, except for two reasons. Those being, first, I'm being as I'm the bus driver, I'm legally responsible for this bus, and I gotta keep an eye on it, and secondly, because of my leg. What's wrong with your leg? It's attached to a fella that doesn't want to go wandering around in the rain at night. <sighs> alright, then. Well, alright, can I can I at least borrow your umbrella? It's a left-handed umbrella. I am left-handed, as it happens. But you aren't registered to my umbrella insurance. <laughs> Nuts. <laughs> Sorry about that. Here, I do have a flashlight you can use, though. Good luck. Thanks. Alright. Drink red cola. Protect your fan. Oh, there's gas right here. This pump is full of water instead of gas. What? There's a little bit of gas left in this pump, and there's no hose on it. This gas pump is empty, so we need a hose. Seems like yesterday that gas only cost 6 and 15th 64 meter gallon. Those were the days. We ran out of service. Oh, we can just go into it. <gasps> Bat. Old base, yeah, we're gonna grab the, the baseball bat. I feel like that's... Oh, basic humanity, okay. Uh, one object. We got a cheese loaf! Because it's a vile substance, a snack. They're out of postcards. So we cash is pointed towards the front of the office. Gain seven meat. Empty oil cans, a whole pyramid. Are you an employee? Yes. Really? You never mentioned working at a gas station. Uh, yes, really. Okay, if you say so. Yes, like I'm going to... It's broken radio. Uh, fifth one is locked. Okay, so we need a key for that. There's some electrical widgets and doodads. You don't have any use for any of them. The shelves... Look up Shadow Dragon. I'll be darned. Here's your file. <laughs> you do work here. <laughs> Sorry, I ever doubted you. <laughs> I love that. Each object you examine on yourself is dirtier and more boring than the one you looked at before. Is that everything? It oh, there's a door here. Oh, whoa. Uh, we need three mysticality to figure out that machine. Control, nothing happened. Oh, stand clear of lift before operating. Sorry, <laughs> Steve. You really wanted the story behind this. Okay, what's in here? All the good tools have already been stolen. Fuse box. As advertised, the box containing one fuse. The fuse is broken, which is probably not intended. You should keep an eye out for replacement. Must be one around here somewhere. This little floater looks promising a source of gas, but you can't reach it while it's up on the lift. So, that's probably where we get our gas. We need to get a fuse then. Don't go back into it. That's going to be hard not to do constantly. Uh, let's keep a look around then. Finnegan's optional boxing gym. You don't have to fight if you don't want to. Uh, hi there. 
A miserable looking hitchhiker standing in the rain, listlessly sticking out her thumb. Try to tell this area, don't quite me worse. Can you give me a lift? I need to get to Alabama. I'm sorry, I'm going the other way. Oh, also, I don't have a car. Oh, what's your name? Lydia. Nice to meet you, Lydia. Although, I admit, circumstances are great. So, what's in Albany? No, I just. Did you see a family there? No, I just want to go somewhere new. Albany isn't new, though. It's one of the oldest cities in the country. Haha. <laughs> okay, that's fair. Uh, do you know where I can get some gas? Gas? The bus ran out, and the driver sent me to find some more. Bus? Yeah, I'm trying to get to Ocean City. I've never been there. Okay, then. How about this rain, huh? Looks very slightly surprised and glanced around slowly. Oh, it's raining. Sure is. What a night to be stuck out on the road, right? I hadn't noticed. I get the feeling you aren't much of a noticer. Well, anyway, seen any good movies lately? I saw Dr. Jer uh, Jekyll and Mr. Hyde at Nickelodeon. That's a classic. What did you think? It was very scary. I liked it. I've heard comedies myself. Have you seen the new Buster Keaton one, The Cameraman? I don't know who that is. Oh, he's great. You'll have to see Sherlock Jr. That's my favorite. Really terrific. Uh, read any good books lately? I read The Invisible Man. It was really good. Oh yeah, H.G. Wells is great. Have you read his new one? The War in the Air? I didn't care for it. The one I'm thinking of is Mr. Something on Something Island. I forget the name, but it was terrible. His early works are his best, like The Time Machine. Yeah, I love that one. I'm glad we were able to find something we could connect on. So, um... 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 Is nothing gonna happen with this? I want something to happen with this. Okay, bye, good luck. Well, that sucks. This field is extremely corny. Oh, hi, I want to be unfriendly, but this is a private residence at the Elders Barge. I'm, I'm sorry, it's so desolate outside. I guess it just seems place was abandoned. Well, corner morning, you'll be right, so you might as well get in out of the rain for a spell. Thanks. My name's Shadow Dragon. Howdy, Shadow. I'm Ilias. Ilias Chekhov. Make yourself at home. Look around. Let's talk to him. Let's look around, mumbling himself as he checks off his mental to-do list. So you moving out? I, yep, just finished packing, so now I'm just waiting for the movers to come and take this last load of stuff. You got movers coming in the middle of the night? Nah, in the morning. But I went and packed my teddy bear and forgot which box he's in. Can't sleep. Why are you leaving? Well, my daughter went off to college, so there's nothing keeping me here now. I never particularly cared for farming anyhow, just kind of fell into it, you know? So I reckon I'd take the opportunity to retire and travel a bit, see what kind of trouble I get up to. Heh. <laughs> nice, so what's your story? What are you doing out night like this? I got a letter from my Uncle Murray, it sounded urgent, so I hopped on a bus to Open City, or Ocean City. I ain't sure how to tell you this, but you got a ways to go yet. Yeah, the bus ran out of gas, so the driver sent me to scavenge for some more. I gotcha. I think there's an old gas can in the barn out back. You're welcome to it. Thanks. I gotta warn you, though. You'll have to fight my daughter for it. What? Well, I technically I should say my daughter's monster. What? It's a thing my daughter Sim uh, Simone built. What? See, my kid's a real technical whiz. She built an auto-ominous robo-traption to help with plowing and harvesting and the hike. Or in the like. Worked real nice, too. Wow. Problem is, after she left, it blew a what's-it tube and got violent. I'm pretty good with machinery, but when it comes to these newfangled electrics, I might as well be a dog trying to real trying to read Play-Doh. So I locked it in the bar. I see. You're welcome to try to hand guess it if you've a mind to, but please be careful. It's got a lot of sharp bits on it. Here's the key. So that's I'm guessing. There's a rifle. Ask you this about it. Leave this rifle behind? How come? Well, it's a varmint rifle, and where I'm going, there ain't any varmints. There's vermin, to be sure, but crit critters and such like that. But the Almanac don't list any examples of varmint qua varmint, if you know what I mean. I do know what you mean. No fret, need to fret over right now. In case, that gun is for later. Later? Uh, yep, much later. Huh? Okay. There's a weird device on top of this box. What's the funny looking thing? It's a duck call. What's it for? It's for calling ducks. Oh, fun. Used to be, don't work anymore on account of being haunted. Haunted? Well, yeah, well, not haunted exactly. A bunch of spiders got in there, and now it sounds all scary when you blow it. I, okay, I don't know if I want this now. You gingerly take the duck call, trying very hard not to think about spiders. You're pretty sure this duck call is haunted, but you can't remember the story how it got that way. Reduces enemy muscle, mysticality, and moxie by one when you honk it at them once per fight. Watch spiders. Good job. Okay. I ask Elias about gears. Simone left those behind when she went off to school. Figured I should keep them for her. That makes sense. Tears. <laughs> Wait, these boxes of tears or tears? Don't be ridiculous. You can't put neither one of them in boxes. That don't make any kind of sense. Why the fuck do you have them? Uh, there's a lot of bears. All these boxes full of bears? Is your teddy in one of them? Nah, those are boxes all are all canned pears. I had a little fun writing all the labels, you see. You want a can? I got one left that didn't fit. Ooh. Cool. Gee, thanks. Oh, this is... Okay, that's the back. So that's to there. That's where it leads. Where's this door lead, I ask you? Spare bedroom? Ain't been using forever. I don't even bother opening the door since the dust devil got in there. Feel free to help yourself, though. I doubt you found much use. A dust devil? 
Yeah, those critters have been a real nuisance around here. They're attracted to beds that ain't been cleaned under properly. And since I lost my broom back in 26, it's been a real, uh, what does Simone call it? A nutrient-rich environment. Ornery little beast, real territorial. I'll be careful. There's books here. Look, another one. Uh, oh, wait, hang on. What? What did I just get? Is that my backpack? The handgun's tail. Oh. Okay. Let's read that. Oh, I need a. I need a. Five mysticality. Okay. What is my mysticality? One. So I can't get that yet. Also, dusty old nightstand. Get ten meat. Let's fight the dust devil. Says I'm sure I want to fight it. Oh my god, why do I have a bird? Ow! Throw that. And then smack him with the bat. Deal three damage. Uh, I think I'm about to die. Yeah, I did die. Because he missed. You should listen to check up, I guess so. Okay. Let's not fight that again until we're better equipped. Ow. Label shares. What are your stocks? Scissors! Oh, shears. Class rings. Uh, fully full of class rings. Yep, about 140 of them. Did you go to college 140 times? <laughs> nah, of course not. I just collect them is all. Why? Well, they're rare, but not very rare. They're in all different interesting ways, and they're shiny. That there is the collecting trifecta. Okay. What's the door? That's Simone's room. Hopefully she ain't left anything important there because I plum forgot how to work that crazy lock she invented. And then... Can I use the bathroom? Sure. How'd you know that door was a bathroom, though? I've always had a knack for knowing which doors lead to bathrooms is all. Well, good for you, I guess. Uh, gaze into it. Hi, Shadow. Smile. Hey there, good looking. Brown. Oh, what's wrong? Scowl. Why, I oughta worry. Oh, no, no, no. Cringe. You were uh, freak out. Close your eyes. <laughs> Go back to normal. Wait, hang on. Can I, like... You can make yourself... That's kind of cool. I'm gonna keep smiling, though. It's probably the modern toilet. Vicious claw foot tub. Okay, so we gained 5 XP. Can I use that XP somehow? Because I would love to be able to, like, up my stats a little bit. Spend that upgrade your skills. I don't know how. I guess I can't. I guess not yet, at least. Wait, hang on. Was there... Okay, we didn't get anything of that. Okay, so Farmer Chekhov, we have a way out back. Turtle! Let's help it. I am, I have help. There you go, buddy. Good turtle, goodbye! A billboard from the old war. A boxcar? Someone's hated this boxcar. What's in here? Oh, hey, pal! A cheerful looking hobo toodles idly on a harmonica. <gasps> Gas! Ooh, shiny, actually, hang on. Got in 1917. SIT class ring. Okay, we got one third of a full. Okay. Hi there, neighbor. I'm Howie. Pleased to meet you. I'm not actually from around here, though. <clears throat> well, the way I see it, this whole country is my home. So everybody is my neighbor. Well, that's nice. Either that or they're all trespassers who better get off of my property. <laughs> I'm just Josh and your friend. Care for some jerky? What kind? Clam. It's a local delicacy. Huh. Sure, I'll have some jerky. Increase your muscle by... Okay. There you are. Can't abide the stuff myself, like eating a dried slug, but saltier. Come to think of it, that's exactly what it is. You're really selling me on this local delicacy. If you ask me, the locals are a bit weird. Where are you from? Originally, I'm from Hawaii, but I got a board of gorgeous tropical beaches and decided to hit the rails. You rode the rails from Hawaii? <laughs> yep. Real challenging trip from a first-time hobo, but I made it through all right. You ever think of going back? They only got the one track there, so it was a one-way trip. I might head back for a visit once they built a second one, though. Huh. Do you live here? Not permanent-like, but I've been camped out here for a few days. All alone. <clears throat> well, it used to be a bit livelier, but the boss has sent a railroad bull to run everybody off. Railroad bull? You mean like a cop? Yeah, you could say that. I think he's still prowling around out back, if you care to test your metal. I don't advise it, though. Is he pack and eat? No, he's unarmed, but one of your arms might make a pretty good club once he gets it off of you. Any plans for the future? Well, we're on the wall, so there's camp form in Ocean City. I figure I'll mosey on over there once this rain lets up. Word on the wall? I've never heard that phrase. Is it like through the grapevine? <laughs> similar, similar. 
Alright, we'll take my leave. So then I'm guessing... Oh, is this bag his? Is that Naps Cat your own lunch? Oh, that ain't mine. That's been here since I, before I arrived myself. Nobody's been able to work out how to open the dang thing. If you can figure out the trick, you're welcome to it. Oh. So we need Moxie to open that. Okay, well, let's see what's... And I need two muscle to open that. Okay. Uh, okay, Topeka is down that way. So we got three areas we can go. Three things to do. We need Mysticality, we need Moxie, and we need Strength. I'm thinking, well, we can get Strength by eating the jerky that we have. That's, like, that's the only thing I've had that, or found that says it needs two. So, yeah, eat the clam jerky. Okay. I have the class ring equipped. Oh, yeah. Force it open. The door's extremely heavy. We made it through. Oh! Dear God! It's that railroad bull how we told you about. Although railroad minutes are probably more accurate. Okay, that's terrifying. On the ground, there's ever lend legitimacy to this outdoor kitchen. Uh, mason jar. Oh, we got. Okay, so cool. We got the grimy spatula. Deal, deals your mysticality plus two physical damage. Oh, that actually might be really useful. Hang on. Yeah, equip that. That's better than what the bat was. Like, what was the bat doing? Deals your muscle plus. Uh, hang on, that's... Hang on, so that's two physical, so one... They do the same thing right now. But I could up my mysticality. Howie loves playing the harmonica. Aw, let's take care of this bull. Take the bull, let's see if we can fight it. It has seven HP. One physical armor. Intends to gore me for five damage. Throw that. It's minus two. For two physical damage. Okay. He's gonna gore me for five. Ow. I don't know what the finch does. I don't know what that does, but I think... I think I lose no matter what... No, actually, wait. If I throw this... And then I hit him again, I think we win. Yeah, we got him! We killed it! Yeah! <laughs> You got XP to learn a skill. Open the character sheet or hit C. Okay. So, info? Basics. I... I don't... What? It says I have enough XP to learn a skill. But it doesn't say I have skill. So we got a full gas can now. I kind of want to see if there's anything else I could do, though. Like, we got all the gas cans that we needed. I'm trying to think, though. We could... I'm trying to think of how I want to do this. Okay. My inventory. I think this gives me... I don't know what that does. It says potion. Increases my moxie by one. I only have... Yeah. And that increases my mysticality by one. Let's see if... Uh, the farmer here gives me something for my class ring. The ring you found. Hey, it's the 17 SIT ring! I got one of those in faux emerald, but not a faux sapphire like this. They're, they are the ones that got, uh, junior, had a little, I, I can't read that. Is it worth anything? Nah, not to a jeweler or pawn or anything like that. Eight carat gold and the stone's made of glass. Collector give you 30 meat for it, such as myself, if you're interested for it. And selling it. So I can just give it to him, or 30. I think I'm just going to give it to him. I don't know what meat does. So it's in his pocket. So we gained 5 XP. I think I probably should have gotten the fucking meat, but who knows. Uh, let's take a look out back real quick. Was that a pistol? Another look at a pair of socks and old gun. Got a rusty pistol. Uh, scarecrow. <laughs> let's fight the scarecrow. Oh, I think I messed up. Yeah, because I... Oh, no, I can still beat it. Because he does, yeah, because I can do four damage a turn. So, yeah, he's got eight, he's, yeah, he's got, yeah, we can win. Ow. He shot me, but I got plus, oh, the crow's, or my finch is giving me that. Can I get a gun now? I want that guy's gun. Gain five XP. Can I get his gun? No, no gun. Old rag. 
We have 133% full gas. Can I just get more gas? That's hilarious. Oh, is this the thing that was fight? Okay, I think I see. But Rusty Pistol deals your moxie plus damage, physical damage, one physical damage. August the Finch. Each round of combat increases your muscle, mysticality, or moxie by one. Okay, so that's what he does. He's my familiar. So the Rusty Pistol is a ranged weapon. I don't think I can equip this. No, I can't equip that. I think I'll keep the physical damage just because that's like the best thing. This thing only does plus one physical, and I'll have a lot of moxie. No, he said the thing was in here, right? Or, I don't know. Need more muscle. Arrangement of object. Jesus Christ, what the hell? I see the gas can. We have to get past that thing without destroy it. Destroy it, then! Wait, hang on. This is three damage. It said my only option was just to destroy it. And then flip it with the spatula. August the Finch grows stronger. Okay. Rest in parts. Uh, we need two more. Okay, two moxie. Accept my reward. 166... Okay, we can get the moxie we need to get this. I want to know how to... Because it says I had enough to upgrade my skill, so hit C. I don't know why it's... Oh! These! These are the skills! That makes so much sense! Okay, so we can up my mysticality and my moxie right now. Which, we can also upgrade my muscle. I think if we upgrade... Hang on, so we've got 30. Let's upgrade the Moxie. Or do we want to? I'm trying to think. That's audio. Okay, I'm trying to think. So this is, we need, we need two Moxie. We needed three Moxie to open the bag. And we need three Mysticality for the thing over there. We need three Strength over here. So I think I may have messed up. Yeah, so we need, the cabinet is rusted open. That's probably another gas can in there. We need three Muscle for that, which we can't really get. I think... Getting the Moxie, and I think just getting Mysticality, because we can up that to three. So yeah, we get this. Get Welding Gloves. One plus Hot Armor. Nice. I think that's automatically added to myself. Yeah, okay. So then we can't do that right now. We were able to, to win. Scarecrow. How do you scare? Sorry, well, I was leaving behind anyhow, but why'd you go and do a thing like that for? It shot at me with a gun. Oh, yeah. All right. That's perfectly reasonable, then. <laughs> well, it did shoot at me. And then we can up our moxie one more time to open this. That's what I'm thinking. Because it takes the cheese loaf. Yeah, we're at, we, that would put us at two, but it would lower our, our muscle. So let's eat the cheese loaf. Yeah. We don't need muscle anymore. The arg. And then we can open the latch, get a little silver key. It might open a file cap. <gasps> File cabinet, desk drawer, something other boring office. Oh, we can do that in the the gas station now. Which will probably give us a hose for other stuff. Okay. Is there anything else I could fight? It's a weird pack where video was standing. Read it. On this exact spot, on the 13th of October 1908, the state's first mass-produced automobile, a Ford Model T purchased by Harry McCurlins, accidentally struck and killed the state's first hitchhiker. No! A few minutes ago, I've been dead for exactly 20 years. Good, swell, everything is great, and you aren't regretting the trip before you arrived. Oh! Well, that's not good. Was there anything else that I tried to... The dust thing. The the, the little, uh, the dust dude. Which we might be able to beat in a second. So search it. Unlock it. Got the gas pump, the gas pump hose. I don't think we need the moxie anymore, so now we drink... No, we eat... The extra sweet pears. So that gives us a mysticality. So now we can deal a lot of damage. I think, well, first off, we will get the gas here. Pump some gas. We have a 200% filled ga gas can. I want to see how much we could get. Because, like, obviously the tutorial here has got a lot of stuff. I think we could fight the dude in here. But I think there was something else I needed three mysticality for. Was it this? No, it wasn't, was it? What was it? What did I need? Oh, wait. Was it the... 
I need five mysticality. Okay, so we need to keep our mysticality up then. But I think we could kill this thing. Okay, so it deals four damage on the turn. So we get two turns no matter what. We have four damage, two physical damage. Yeah, we can throw that. And then deal a lot of damage with that hit. He stabs me for only three damage, right? Oh no, the bleeding damage, right? I need to deal, so I only get one turn because of the bleed, damn it. Damn. Okay, we would have, we could have won that too. Is there anything else I can do here? I know we beat the thing in here. The de the dust devil's the only thing I couldn't beat. And oh, got a crowbar. Is that a weapon? Oh, but it's muscle plus one physical damage. So it's the same thing as the baseball bat. That's kind of sad. Uh, I think with the three mysticality that we have though, there was one other thing we could do at the gas station. And then we just head back to the bus. I don't think I can beat the bus, the Dust Devil. I think if I did everything in the correct order, I probably could have. I think what I was supposed to do was open up. I should have explored everywhere first before I decided to use the muscle. Because that was my problem. But now, yeah, figure this out. Harvest the gasoline. 233. Nothing happens. Must have power. I think... Yeah, I can't do anything with the lift. Oh, yeah, I need to open... I need a fuse, which... Could I get one from that one thing, I wonder? Like, I wonder if that, like, that one machine. Oh, wait, no, it probably would have been in the fucking, it could have been also in the thing. I think we've got the gas can, we've got a lot of gas, and we've wasted enough time. Let's continue on forward. <gasps> the turtle! Let's take it with me. What do I want to name the turtle? I get to name the turtle. We're going to name the turtle. Turt. Because that was also the name it said. Turt the Turtle! Oh my god. He has a randomly wounded ally by his mysticality. <gasps> See, this one boosts me. But this one... I think that one's a... Like, heals me. With his... Maybe he heals me enough that I could take out the Dust Devil. <gasps> Guys. Now listen, I know. I know that I shouldn't try it, but we're gonna try it again. This is probably a bad idea, but we're gonna try it. Okay, so it deals... Four dam- Oh no, he just activated the four damage to me. So there's nobody for the turtle to heal. So the bleeding just did the damage to me. Okay. So how much health do I have? I think I have 10 HP. He's just dealt four to me with the bleeding. He's gonna deal three damage. And then the four will kill me. So if I... Throw... That... Flip that. Let's see if my turtle heals me enough health. He stabs me. I take... No! I just barely didn't. Hold up. I think I can do this. I think I can do this. So no, he stabs me for four bleed. That's what he adds to me. My turn comes. I take the four damage. I think instead of hitting him, I honk at him. So now he only does two damage to me. And then I hit him with this for four. He stabs me for two. My turtle heals me for one. I survive the bleed. Hit this bastard with the stone. And then hit him with my spatula. And we killed the dust devil. Let's go. I don't know what that did for me other than just give me XP. Uh, can I tell the dude I just killed the Dust Devil? I took out the Dust Devil, yeah, well, did you now? Well, thank you kindly. Of course, it's a bit late for my purposes, but I imagine the next occupants will be grateful. Hope the thing didn't rough you up too bad. It was a snap. Great! I did that for nothing! <laughs> oh, well! Let's just move on. Let's, let's get the hell out of here. <laughs> but that turtle's gonna come in clutch, especially if we can upgrade it. Is there anything? Okay. Talk to him. Doesn't you? <laughs> well, it's, it's gas can. You just hold that much gas. Not sure how you did it. Well, whatever. You hit the road. Let's get out of here. Uh, we're on. Okay, so we got 10 XP, so we can actually get our strength up. 
You climb back and return to your seat, and soon you're dozing off to the sound of rain splattering on the window beside you. Unfortunately, it's barely an approximation of sleep, the sort of sleep that you slip into so gradually that you don't even know you're asleep until something wakes you up. Blanca Street! And you realize that your meandering thoughts of the past few minutes have been utterly strange, shadowy tendrils of whispering ideas. Hey kid, this is your stop, right? That are now totally forgotten. Uh, what? All ashore, what's going ashore? Thanks for traveling with, for traveling with this bus co. So, we finally made it here. It's closed for the night. It's a bus stop. Oh yeah, Murray's Antiques. Uncle Murray? The bell over the door. The door? The door jangles as you walk into Murray's Antiques. The young woman at the counter helps, looks up as you enter. Oh, hi, you must be Shadow. We don't get many customers at this time of night. Or at all, really. That's me. You were expecting me? Yeah, Murray didn't say much about you, but he gave me that letter to mail. My name's Jessica. Oh, jeez, you're soaking wet. Come on and I'll get you a towel. You walk over to the counter, try not to drip on any vintage bric-a-brac as Jessica grabs a threadbare bath towel from a shelf and pulls the tag off before tossing it to you. Thanks. Is Uncle Murray here? His letter wasn't very specific. He isn't. You said that in a kind of an ominous way. Where is he? Uh, I wish I knew. He had a line on another artifact. And said it was going to be a tough one. I told him he should get some backup, but he wasn't willing to wait. He just wrote that letter and told me to mail it if he didn't come back. Is there something I'm missing here? This is an antique shop, right? You make trying to talk Great Aunt Ruthie into selling her... Sh <laughs> Muster's Chesterfield sound like a deadly spy mission. Yeah, this is going to take some explaining. Well, I'm definitely intrigued now. We don't have a lot of time just now. Follow me, I'll give you a quick sketch. Okay. Jessica leads you into the back room, furnishes some desks and a strange-looking machinery. Welcome to our back, our back office, the hub of our little operation. I'm guessing by operation you talk about something other than antiques. Well, yes and no. See, a few years ago, Murray found out that there's a bunch of antiques circulating that are, well, hinky would be a real understatement. Hinky? Murray called them tainted, dark magic, real bad mojo, you know, cursed. Are you serious? It's no joke. That's what our real job is here. The antique store is just... Well, not exactly a front. We find a lot of regular antiques, too, and selling them keeps us in scratch. But really, we're trying to hunt down all these evil doodads and... Doodads? Doodads and neutralize them so nobody gets hurt. And Uncle Murray went out to get one and never came back. That's the long and short of it, yep. What do you say, are you in? <laughs> Absolutely! I'm always up for a crazy adventure. Great! You hear a shop door opening, and after a moment, a goblin pokes her head into the office. Hello! Oh, hey, that's well timing. Hey, Gabby, Murray's sister... Murray's sister's kid showed up. Come meet him. Hi, Gabby. Oh, that's cool. The, I go by her. I go by them. So you can actually choose your gender here. That's really dope. Hi, Gabby. Pleased to meet you. Hi, hello. The pleasure is all Gabby's. Gabby, would you be a dear and carry his luggage to Murray's room and grab some blankets and stuff out of the cupboard? He can sleep there till we, found Mur till we find Murray. You've gotten it. Gabby picks up your suitcase and carries it through the door in the back of the room. Great, I could really use some sleep. So I'm guessing new bedroom, making the bed and such. No we need to call her now. Talk to her. Well, turn good night. Hang on a sec. You can't go to sleep just yet. I'm pretty sure I can. I could bet I could do it right here while I'm pretty standing up. But there's something we need to do before the night's over. Wow, mission already? You know those cursed artifacts I was talking about? Since info on them is so sketchy, we're working on a machine that can detect them from, with radio waves. I call it the Detectatron 1000. We've just gotten it up and running since Murray left, and it turned out there's a tainted thing, particularly right on our doorstep. That doesn't sound good. Yeah, it's not great. I was gonna have Gabby go get it, but that's that's why she came over tonight, but since she turned up out of the blue, I guess there's no time like the present. I am probably not exaggerating when I literally say there is no time except for the present. As in, there may not be a future. You want have far to go, just down the other end of the block. If your readings are right, there's a newspaper's office that got shut down earlier this year. It should be in there. Gabby will go with you. She's, she's good in a fight. A fight? Heck yeah! <laughs> yeah, well, hopefully it won't come to that, but you never know. Hey, Gabby! <laughs> Go to the newspaper's office of Shadow and help him get that hat, okay? Okay, Gabby is ready for action. In action, let's mosey. Make an excited sigh. All right, you said it's a hat, a cursed hat? According to the readout, yeah. A men's fedora. Milady. Probably. <laughs> and then it's supposed to what, just break in and take it? Well, not break exactly. I managed to finagle a spare key out of the guy at the realtor's office. I'm pretty sure it still counts as breaking and entering. You'll be in and out and back here and in bed before you know it. Sweet, let's do this. Okay, so no one to call. Nobody at this desk. Cat, uh, Cal Calliope. Murray got her a couple years ago. Scritch behind Cat's ears. She doesn't react at all. Why does Cal Calliope like me? She'll warm eventually. Try giving her some sardines. She loves those. Do you have any? We're all out. You can get some more tomorrow. They have my cola war so far. Okay. New plan after we do everything. Brick wall. <laughs> okay. Okay. Next time we. Oh, hello, Gabby. Gab with Gabby. Hi, Gabby. How's it going? Gabby has readiness for an action. 
lap your gums a bit. How'd you get mixed up with Murray and the whole anti- uh, You know what? We'll learn about this later. My throat hurts. So we're going to the news page. Wait, is this it? No, that's not it. Oh, dude, you got a hat on. It's unholy perturbed by the rain. Nice weather we're having. He smiles like some rain, splashes face while. <laughs> Suits me just fine, I guess. A wise man once said, the rain falls on a poor man and rich men alike. Was that before umbrellas were invented, or... My name's Gus, by the way. Hi, I'm Shadow. Pleased to meet you, Shadow. Say, you wouldn't have a couple of meat to spare, would you? Sure. Thank you very much. Old Gus won't forget your kindness, you bet. Take her easy, Gus. <laughs> Gus will remember that. <laughs> I still like the fact that we could basically just get... Oof, trash can. Cheap cologne. Increase your stench armor by one. Alright. Uh, condemned. Which one's the fucking... Which one's the newspaper? Give my... You probably shouldn't want an alleys. Oh, here we go. Give the Gita cabbie for safekeeping. So we're looking for a hat. Handwritten note on this. The note says, Robson... First Hinden, then Carver, who's next? Venable says if Burgess comes for him, he's gonna karate chop his desk in half. Sincerely, Curtis Curtis. P.S. What's a karate? Another note. Tucker, I got you that bottle you wanted. I stuck it under the water cooler where Burgess can't find it and rats out to the pro piece. Or the pro he's Beck. Under the water cooler, eh? Surely it's not still there, but it couldn't hurt to check. There, wait, where's the water cooler? I, I wanna find it. Uh Got their cufflinks, got the reporter's cufflinks, plus one, plus one mysticality, please tell me I just equipped that. Please tell me I just equipped that. How do I equip that? It's an accessory. Oh, but it takes up my welding gloves? The welding gloves are an accessory? Well, okay, mysticality will still help a bit. Okay, the letter reads, Reginald, I think Burgess is onto us, we've gotten careless. In fact, maybe I shouldn't be typing this out as a letter instead of just talking to a person. Why am I doing this? Meet me under the water cooler this afternoon. Here comes Burgess the Pink Slip. Sincerely, says from the rooster got on fire before they type her name. What's what's under the water cooler? I'm not paying you to publish cockamamie conspiracy theories. In fact, I'm not paying you at all anymore. Clean your desk and hit the road. Governor Burgess, Editor-in-Chief. Do you like the word cockamamie that I used there? It's a slang turn I coined. It means ridiculous or impossible. I think it's really going to catch on. Uh, Babe Ruth gets haircut. Today's list of da band dances. I'm just going to keep spamming this till something happens. Nothing. Usually if you spam stuff. Half-inch document. The government has once again slashed funding to city services and social programs, citing waste, but without offering any supporting figures or explaining where the funds have been re reallocated to. Additionally, anonymous sources report... It cuts off abruptly. Maybe there's all the pink slip next to it. The typewriter. Curtis, I've told you once, I've told you a hundred times, not enough people buy the paper anymore to keep the lights on in this joint. Electricity is expensive, and it's a very recent innovation. As such, fully half of your salary is paid by the government subsidiaries, that is to say that the hand that feeds you is the hand you keep biting! Way to go back, buddy. We go way back, buddy, but you give me no choice. Can I have your desk and scram? Editor-in-chief. Uh, we got a nasty old coffee, which increases the maximum AP. How about a pink slip? Take the two Maddox... Oh, under the water cooler. Trap door, okay. Got a nasty old leftovers. Reduces an enemy... Oh, it's a combat item. Alright. Nothing... Oh. Sounds some interesting. Okay. I'm glad I decided to do that. Wow, they put that, like, really close. But that's... Alright. I'm guessing the hat is down here. I'm sorry. Fish people? Oh, consult the manual. Uh, push the green power on. Pull the pump and gauge. Adjust the suction rate. Red indicator lights on, it's set the suction adjust dial to A. If blue is on, set it to E. If green is on, set it to D. To abort startup, press the red power. Okay. So I think it was push the green power on. Here, motor starting up. Okay, then pull the pump and gauge lever. A yellow light is growing in the car. Son of a bitch! Okay, yellow. That's probably means I want to turn the knob. Turn the dial to E. Orange light and the machine shuts down. We'll shoot. 
What? It doesn't say anything about a yellow button. Push green button, pull lever, a yellow light is growing on the console. Red is A, blue is E. Oh, wait! Oh! Oh! So if D and E... No! Oh, wait! Ray, Roy G. Biv! Red, orange, yellow. It's C. Let's go! Okay, we get the fish people out of here. Oh my god. Gain 5 XP. Very odd, uh... Person shape stain on the ground. Alright, take the hat. Terribly cursed fedora. Nothing good can come of this. Oh, hey, Gabby. Chew the fat. Okay, so it just keeps making small talk. Take the paper. Underground newspaper. Okay, so that's that it. But we did it. We got what we needed. We got what we came for. It took me a while, but... Alright. We got the hat. This one we met doesn't look unusual, though. Yeah, it does creep me out a bit, but I can't really put my finger on why. Feels like you kind of have a headache, except you don't actually. More like a feeling of dread, like something terrible is about to happen, but I don't know what it is yet. That is definitely not related to the fact that I need you to take that hat and go sit in that machine over there. Uh, why? That's our own cursing machine. Gotta get the curse off that hat, right? It makes sense, but, uh, can we just put the hat in the machine? Why aren't I even involved? Because the machine needs a mind to guide the uncursing process. Together, you lift the curse from the hat and transform to sort of allegorical dreamscape. Dream space that the machine can transfix. A what? I know it's a lot more phrase. Ahem. The, uncurchous, the uncursing machine uses your subconscious mind to drive a wedge between an item and its curse. The item is a cleansed relatively easily, but that doesn't negate the curse fully. Once separated from the item, the machine stores the curse and allows you to physically project into it to try and resolve the metaphorical scenario at the core of its existence. That's where things get a little weird. Yeah, I know it almost sounds crackers, but you'll just have to give it a try to understand. Who the fuck are you?! I'm Charles Wallace. What are you? I'm General Handyman sort of stuff. I keep the lights on the water running. Built the detective tron and cursing machine too. It's a real high check wizardry. That's nothing really. Let me ask you something. How's that weird cursing machine work? Oh, I only built the thing. I can't begin to tell you how it works. <laughs> the internet's are all wired up to a little porcelain cat figurine that Murray found somewhere. See you around, Charles. So then... Oh, this machine. Okay. The terribly cursed fedora. No sooner you sat down with his, possibly with the fedora... Straight into the dome, the rattles, flops is wet on your lap. Almost energy once possessed, terrible curse now is simply a terrible hat. Curse still lives, transfixed in a dreamlike construct. How do I get rid of that curse? Hmm. See, curses are like energy. They can't be created or destroyed, only changed. Can't remember who said that. Isaac Newman? Newton? Ah, oh, yeah, Newman Newton. Or Newton Newman, yeah. That machine knows how to take a curse from one object and put it on itself. But that's for how you change a curse? Well, I don't know. That's some higher conscious spiritualist stuff. Don't know much about that. I'm more of a New Newton Newman sort of guy. The Fedora's curse bounces around the innards of this machine, daring you to come project your conscience it. I'll do it! Let's fight. I'll throw hands. I wish I didn't throw hands. I'm sorry. Okay, so the curse remains unsolved. Oh. I, I heard thy death call, creature. Rest now, I will find it my murderer. Tree fell before time. A ground stain was sin. Yes. Even in Arcadia, there is death. Even in Paradise, there is a killer. Thou know who I am and why am I here. Aye, Cutter, there has been a Mordre. What knowest thou of a Mordre? That I did not do the Mordre, that is all. What mo have thee for me? Only this. I am one of three brothers. One of us always tellens the truth. One of us always lies. And the third of us does not speak and at all, but honks. If I find in thee a liar, there is nothing I can do to save in thee. I cut her. Thou a servant of the wood. Blessed be her branches. <laughs> what the hell is... Big power in the wood today, Cutter. Thy tree's fallen in the forest and has made a sin. But not me a sinner, that I assure you. Thou claim to be without sin? None of us is without sins, but mine do not ha run to Mordre. Then whose? Look for my brother. Thy brother speak ends of three brothers. One who always lies, one who always tells him the truth, and one who does not speck at all but honks. What speck in thee of this? This is fairy talk. No thing is honking in this land since Mother Duck laid the big egg. No honking since then? No sire. Something in, is rotten in this wood cutter. I am order with, with perversions at its source. Speak to me of perversions. I have no thing to say, for I do not tarry with them. What do thou tell in me? I am troubled by the mortar, but of it I know nothing. 
I warn thee, my forgiveness makes no realm for liars. Thou do what thou must, Cutter, I have no doubt. Thy brother speaking of three brothers. One who always lies tells the truth, one who is not speaking of hell but honks, but speaking of these. I do not honk in sire, I swear in upon it. Thou was never honking, never, never, tis a sin in my eyes. Okay, so finding the alive. There's got to be a way to like figure this out. Wait, what the fuck? Why do you have three hats? Uh, you have three. You have two. You have three. Wait. Oh, it's the middle guy. This guy's a liar. The blood's running not black but red. I have not felled in a sinner today. More trees must fail before and the rot of sin is gone. Have I become in the sinner? No, I don't think it's so. Oh, did I fuck up? Uh, fuck it. We'll just kill all of them. Thou lie of honkin. So I say, thy runs honkin not. Thou would lie the cutter of the wood. Thou would do mortar in the woods. A slight only distraction will I make. Goodbye. Do not run from me, tree. I groan. In a hundred years I will groan how... how I will not die, Mortarer. I don't think I did it right, but okay. Let's <laughs> see what I'm talking like that. Dark thoughts of trees, axes, and blaze sap cling to your skin. You shake them off like dreadful cobwebs. Not sure what happened, but as you turn over the formerly terribly cursed fedora in your hands, you feel confident that the curse which plagued the starchy little felt thing is finally gone for good. You put the hat back on, and it really sparkles now. Now, now I've got to reckon is whether you're kind of guy who goes around wearing a fedora. I love it. I love the <laughs> nice hat. Now we have 15 health. We have a lot more XP. I'm going to go ahead and buy this. Yes, yeah, so now we have all those, which are good. Next time we get 15 XP, we can grab that now. But now, let's take a look at our... Yeah, so I think we have 15... Okay, hang on a minute. Yeah, we have three, four, two. Okay, 15. Okay, yeah, we're doing good. All right, we did it. It worked, I guess. It was like, I had some kind of crazy dream. There was a woodcutter that was me, I guess, and these talking trees, and one of them had sinned. Some kind of crazy dream was played for me. Okay, good. We can finally go to my room. Ah, what the heck? <laughs> my trunk! Everything was reduced. Everything. You got a stamp from Murray's letter. Alright, well that's... Oh, don't tell me, like, all my shit just... No, okay, we have all the stuff that I still have. Knickknacks. Must have left by the previous tenant. Walk away by the shelf. Lost empty space. Try to acquire a bunch of random crap to clutter it up with. <laughs> the shows have invented yet. We got a TV. <laughs> Alright, let's see what happens when we go to bed. Oh, whoa, yeah, dream space. Alright, Jacob Marley. Dream about school? Let's be this always, it seems. Talk to one of them. Hello. Hello. I don't know who I am either. Do you know which locker is mine? I can't remember which locker is mine. Sorry, I don't know. I'll figure it out eventually. Check the first one. Check the second one. Third one. Fourth one. Fifth one. Sixth one. Seventh one. There isn't a seventh one. I said to check the seventh one. Check the seventh locker now. <laughs> Look at the papers. They all got name on. They're your papers. Read one. How I spent my summer. Age six. The summer I visited my Uncle Murray. Uncle Murray is a funny. He knows magic. I had a fun time with Uncle Murray. Got an overdue library. <laughs> Check the seventh one. <laughs> you must be Durgan. Yes. Uh, I'm your academic advisor. Time to choose your class. But I dropped out in real life. Certainly. However, you must choose a class. What is the right path? Now then, it looks like there are three classes to choose from. There's the advanced kicking and throwing. This class for pig skinners. There's an overview of curd conjuring. This is for cheese wizard. Finally, a weird time signatures 504. This is for jazz agent. <laughs> I, could, I could be a cheese wizard. I want to be a cheese wizard so bad. 
A trained chef, Maggie, cheese wizards use their intellect and mysticality to accomplish their goals. In combat, they wield hard elemental cheeses to damage their foes and soft, soothing cheeses to heal themselves. I love it. I'm a cheese wizard. You're a cheese wizard, Shadow. Brilliant! <laughs> I'm so crying. Now then, there's just a minor matter of your minor. It looks like you've already completed it, but it doesn't say what you studied. Cryptobotany, applied insectology, the psychology of rocks. What does that do? And gems hope their dreams. On second thought, cryptobotomy. Expert in all manner of plant-based arcana. Applied insects. So you're an expert on the bugs and the birds and the bees. I... I think I want to be a psychologist of rocks. I think that'd be hilarious. Gather crafting ingredients from rocks. Okay. I'll go to smile put the door on the right side of the screen. I mean, the right side of the dream. Just to that door. Okay. But I have an overdue library book. How am I supposed to... I guess we'll go on through... That was amazing. I am a cheese wizard. I am a cheese wizard. And sadly... Wait, hang on. I have new stuff. Oh. Oh. Oh my god. Confused people. Magic plus one to moxie plus one to magical. My god, there's so much stuff that I want. Okay. What I'm assuming is based off of like these little things since this one's 50 and the rest are 75 i imagine that if i had picked the other classes these would be 50. still kind of cool and sadly that's all the time i've got for today i didn't expect this tutorial to be that long i don't know how i'm gonna make this into a very short video but thank you everybody so much for watching today if you guys enjoyed this video why not subscribe or like the video? It would really mean a ton to me. And I hope you guys are excited for this new Let's Play. I know I am, because I'm doing a blind playthrough of it. Y'all are amazing. Thank you so much for sticking to the end of the video, and I hope to see you guys in the next one.